Welcome. I'm Sister Janita, and I'm going to be with you visiting the Baby Animals Zoo. When we get there, there are some rules that we must follow if we want to do some movement. First, I'll say the name of the animal, and then you repeat it after me. However, maybe some of you know what the name of that animal is, so you say it with me. Second, there we both have a specific movement with each animal that we will be doing. We're going to have so much fun. Get ready. Let's go. Pause it. The red fox. Repeat. The red fox is a sly, sneaky animal. Make your face and on your whole body into that sneaky fox creeping around the room. The raccoon. Oh, what beautiful black eyes those raccoons have. And they also have those claws. So move your hands like the raccoon's claws and look for food. Pretend you're looking in a garbage can. The polar bear. When they grow up, the little baby polar bear will be so big. But now, let's stomp around like a baby polar bear. The mute swans. Look at the mother swan and her little babies following behind. We can pretend our fingers are the little babies and we're going to make our fingers move like they're following the mother swan. Move those fingers. There's our rabbit sniffing along, wrinkling its nose and sniffing. I want you to wrinkle your nose. And I want you to start sniffing. Oh, there's cabbage. Let's sniff some cabbage. Oh, there's carrots. Let's sniff those carrots. <gasps> Yuck. We just sniffed a skunk. Sniff, sniff. Oh, what cute little baby monkeys. Oh, they have such long arms when they get up. Make your arms, are you standing, as long as you can get them. Swing them and move with your long arms, just like our little monkeys. Our 
Are you swinging those arms? Keep them moving. Lion cubs. They, you know, the mother cub, I mean the mother lion, she has a big roar. It is so loud, you hear it all over the forest. But the babies, what kind of a roar would the babies have? Let me hear it. How would you make your mouth? How would you make the sound from your throat? Let me hear that roar. Sheep. What sound do sheep make? Let me hear it. Ba, ba, let me hear it. But we're going to do something different because they have such soft fur. Instead of petting the sheep with our hands, let's lie back on the floor and pet them with our feet. Ha ha ha, isn't that fun? Pet that soft fur with your feet. Doesn't it feel fine and soft? Ooh, piglets. Oink, oink. Oh my gosh, they make such funny noises, don't they? Why don't you become one of those little piglets? And you do the oinking and oinking all around. Get down on your fours and do the oink oink. Oh, some of your nose has got into mud. Ooh, ooh, what are you going to do? What would a piglet do if mud got on its nose? A prairie dog. Oh, a prairie dog is so sweet looking. You know what I like to do with their paws? They like to make a hole with their paws. They like to make a hole in the ground. I wonder what they find in that hole. Let's get down like the prairie dogs and let's make a hole with our hands and arms into the ground. Maybe that's where they find their food, in that hole. <gasps> the ducklings! Aren't they cute? Make way for ducklings! They waddle and they waddle. Now I want you to become a duckling. You squat down on that floor. Come on, let me see you squat down. And what you're going to do is you're going to whack and whack and whack. Go ahead, on those feet. Get that little hiney in the back. Waddle, whack, whack, just like a duck. And make the sound of a duck. What does the duck say as it's waddling? <gasps> A baby tiger. They're so cute when they're small, aren't they? They look like a cat. Now what the tiger likes to do, the tiger likes to play around and it walks and it runs into around trees like it's in the jungle. It loves to just walk and run and see what it can get. It's all, it, it is so sweet looking when it's small but don't you dare touch it when it's big. The zebra. Oh, we're going to do something about that zebra. Two, there are no two zebras 
that are alike. I want you, because each zebra has its own stripes. The first zebra, I want you to count as many stripes as you can on that zebra. Ready, go. Are different kind of monkeys. These are the Titsis monkeys. And what do they do? Oh, they do all kinds of things. They walk, they jump around, they climb, they make sounds. Why don't you do that? You become a monkey. You run, make sounds. What's a monkey do? What, what, what kind of a sound does a monkey do? Go around. If there's somebody in that room, Go up to them and show them that you're a monkey and go around them. Yes. your nose. Only the rhino has to use his nose on a tree. You don't scratch your nose on a tree, but the rhino does. Is that Bambi? Oh, how sweet. That's the white-tailed deer. See the beautiful eyes? It looks around with those eyes to make sure it's safe where it is. But if it isn't safe, then all of a sudden it takes off through the trees in the forest to hide. You pretend you're taking off into that forest to hide like that deer. Oh, what are these? These are lemurs. And what do they do? Oh, I wish you could see them. You know how you hop frontwards? Well, they hop on the side like they're old men, and they make their arms go up, and they hop. See you do that. Go hop on the side, turn on the side, and hop like an old man. That's what they do. They hop just like that. Are you doing it? I hope so. Here's another animal that hops. Kangaroo. 
and the kangaroo hops with its baby in its pouch. What can you hop with your, like a kangaroo, using your feet and your arms up and hold that baby and hop around the room. Make sure the baby's in the pouch. The elephant. It has that long trunk. Yes, look at it. It does a lot with that trunk. Move your head as if you have a long trunk for a nose and walk with that long nose around the room and then pick up that long nose and go do something in the room and pretend you have that elephant's nose and what else does the elephant do it sprays water out of its nose. But you cannot spray water, can you? If you can, please let me know. Look at the birds. We couldn't go to a baby zoo without seeing some birds. And look, the mother bird is feeding the little bird. You become that little bird. Pretend. Open your mouth wide as if your mother is feeding you. And now you want to fly like your mother bird. Pretend you can fly, but you can't fly right away. you got to practice. Let me see you practice like a little bird and try to fly. Oh, there's more little birds. So you've got more time now to practice your flying. Come on, let's see you move one wing and then the other wing, flutter it around. Now you're getting there. You're slowly getting there. Now fly around the room. Pretend you're flying in the air. Fly around the room. Oh, a woodpecker. He's my favorite kind of a bird. You know what he does? He pecks and he pecks on a tree. Just like that with his feet. Come on, let's see you peck on that tree. Pretend there's a tree there. Use your head. Use your head. Peck, 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 peck. peck. There's a woodpecker. Peck, peck, peck. There was a song out called The Woody Woodpecker. Oh, 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 that's the Woody Woodpecker song. Our last animal is the sea turtle. Aren't you glad that's the last one today? And it moves because it carries a heavy bat and it moves very slowly. And then in the sea, it can swim and relax. And since this is our last animal, let's pretend we're that turtle and we're going into the sea and we got our arms outstretched and they are flipping around in the sea, moving like that sea turtle. Now remember there's a difference between a land turtle and a sea turtle. Not everybody can see a sea turtle, but everybody sees is a land turtle. I hope you had fun today. Oh, I had so much fun playing with you. 
and I'm wondering who got the correct answer as to how many stripes that zebra had. Goodbye.